and the, let the brush do all the work. It's very easy to OD on these things. And what do you find with glitters and things? They absolutely drop. These don't drop. Once they're on, so perfect for a bride. And I'm going to give you a little blusher. Just a bit of color, because I have to, because you're so nice to me. A little bit of pink there. And I want to talk a little bit about contour as well. Because even if you just want moisturizer, you don't want foundation. You want your makeup, you want your face to look pretty. You want it to have a little bit of glisten. You don't have to be clever with foundations and all that business. Pop a little bit of shimmer here and there. There we go. So we got color on the cheeks. We got a little bit of dewy freshness. And I love your skin already, so we don't need anything on you there. Just turn to the camera. Can you pick it up? You can see there's just very delicate highlights. The lighting, unfortunately, we need a little spotlight. But there we go. Can I have a kiss? Thank you very much. Big round of applause. Picked her up. Thank you. Is that all makeup in your bag? Is that all makeup? Because we all travel heavy, don't we? Got, oh, it's like we've all got back problems. Come back, hun. OK. Righty-ho. Now, glossy, glowy skin is other things as well. It's highlighters. It's very pretty what you can do. You just need to bring out your natural coloring. Again, regardless of skin tone, let's just have a little bit of shimmer. Close your eyes, honey. This is a serious, serious summer trend. It's great for girls who want that no makeup makeup. I'm putting white along the lid. This is a loose white shimmer called ice. Look, look up, darling. There we go. In a corner. And I'm just going to show you again that trick I did on the top lip, but now I'm going to use a little loose shimmer. And this might pick up the light a little bit more. You go there. There we go. Right. Here. If any of you want to obviously come over and have a look at Claire, you'll see really more what I've done. OK. There we go. There's a little bit of light. I want to show you a little bit trick about contour, because last year, it was all about contour. You've got these two colors, I'm sure, as makeup artists and just consumers, who, whatever you are. You've seen these split pan bronzers. This is, a, this is one of my mineral bronzers. You've got your all over bronzer if you want with a big brush. You've got your matte contour shade. Here we go. And this is another wow thing for customers. Slicing some pounds off the face so they look like they've lost loads of weight. They love that. Here we go. Under the cheekbone. Hold on. Okay, let me get it just. Right, you stay there, don't move. I have to cheat it, I have to actually apply a little bit more so the camera picks it up. But you apply it under the cheekbone, just like that. This is what gives you that kind of model girl, cover girl effect. Immediately, wow, brings the cheeks in. But don't leave it there. You want to add a little bit of color, a little pink to the cheeks. So I take another little watercolor. This one is called Cherub. And in fact, on Thursday, in the Daily Mail, in, if any of you get the Daily Mail newspaper on Thursday, what you'll see is that I've created a, a, a special watercolor for, for Jade Goody. I've only created 200. And the um, five pounds of what we, we uh, charge for the product actually goes to Marie Curie Cancer. So it's just available from Daniel Sandler Cosmetics, if any, ever, any of you are interested in the color that I used on Jade. This is the same one here. So you highlight, you give some contour, and then you add the blush. You definitely have to, to do the contour first before the blush, but you can always, always, always Highlight afterwards if you want. Blend the blusher from the apple of the cheek over, up, and marry it into the contour, just like that. 
just to get, and this immediately lifts the face. Don't do your blusher down there, okay? Always keep your blusher up and out because that really lifts the face. There we go, have a look in the little, chin down a bit. There we go, gorgeous, fresh, rosy blush. And as I say, don't, don't be afraid that, you know, oh, he hasn't got a blusher for my skin tone. I've got 12 different shades in this. And I want to show you another trick. You take your powder puff, and now this is for serious contour. We've, di we've had depth, we've had color, we've highlighted. What's the final step? You take a little loose powder, or which has to be transparent, neutral, no color in it. Or you take, this is my universal blotting powder. This, suits, this one suits every single skin tone. You take this on a powder puff. I hope you pick, this picks it up. And if I'm just going to apply it here, OK? Under the cheek, under where I've applied the contour. These are sort of old fashioned, old, not old fashioned, but old school Hollywood tricks. And they're just as good today. What this does, it cleans up that area. I hope you can see this because it, it is such a great little trick. I'm going to do it this side too. You can really pack the powder on there, but blend. Press, roll, blend. Because what this does whew, really chisels those cheekbones, makes them stand out even more. And you're you know what you're creating as well? A gorgeous heart shape. And the cheeks look lifted and young and beautiful. Okay. Finish that off, if you like, with a little bit of dark pencil. Finish it off with a little brows, if you want. Nice black mascara. One coat only this summer, girls, because it's all about mad colors at the moment. So don't start using mad, mad colors plus lots of mascara. Don't do that. If you want to do the black smoky eyes, then fine. Use loads of mascara, false lashes if you want. There we go. I'm just finishing off with one of my gorgeous glosses. Just to bring the whole look to life. And this is kind of the, take a look in the camera. Say, wave hi, mum. You can add more to this. I just want to race through some looks so you get the idea about fabulous looking skin, looking healthy. You can take that now. You can, as I say, you can add browns, you can add black, you can do your brows, you can add mascara, definition pencil. You can make it as gorgeous as you like. That's a great starting block for just a lovely natural makeup. Now, I didn't do the mascara because I want to do something stronger now because I know time always runs away. Are there any questions at the moment about that? Don't be shy, because time runs away. No? You sure? I know at the end. There's my friend Natalie. Hello. She's one of my makeup artists. I tell you, I've got the coolest bunch of makeup artists. And in fact, Sarah, stand up, honey. This girl here, where's that award you won? This girl here, last night, at the Professional Beauty Awards show. I'm so proud of Sarah. Come up, hun. She won Professional Beauty Makeup Artist of the Year. This is my Sarah Brock. She's my artistic director. She's absolutely awesome. She's also the Brides Magazine Makeup Artist of the Year. Th what this girl doesn't know about makeup, it astounds me. And she, I've never met anyone more dedicated to what she does for her people when she works with them and what she does for me as a makeup artist and director of my own company. She is awesome. So if, if you ever, any of you getting married soon, are you? You'll have to queue. Because she's got a waiting list like you don't know. But there's, my Na there's Natalie over there. Natalie, put your hand up. That's Natalie. Natalie is Nat Natalie Godefroy, not a Londoner. Also, you're from Wiltshire. What, what area do you work? Midlands. If you, any of you from the Midlands? Hello. Natalie's your girl if you ever need a bit more about makeup and things. Thank you, hon. She, absolutely brilliant. She worked so hard for that award, I can't tell you. Okay. wowing customers. That's what they come in for, don't they? They want, they want to go out feeling fabulous, looking brilliant. And I think most people want a new you, don't they? they or a new themselves. 